concepts of all the things which are part of mechanical engineering was still interesting to me even after the four years of engineering um, so that's why I decided to pursue mechanical engineering further 36 credits and four credit courses so nine courses we had to take five, uh, four, five four 500 level courses which is like just strictly graduate level courses and the other five can be 400 level courses but um, I don't think there were any mandatory courses but most of them it, it, there's no problem as far as signing up for them but some of them are very popular so they do, uh, people do take them really quickly we have to keep an eye on how many seats are left Um, it's not as flexible like, as some of the other courses at the university, but yeah, the most flexible you can is like two or three courses outside your department. At least half or more than half of the courses, there were a lot of practical stuff involved, like labs, um, projects, and all that, um, apart from the theory work, obviously. I know that the fluid mechanics, computational uh, mechanics, I've heard that it's very good and I've seen three or four people doing thesis. Um, I would say, I mean, from personal experience, I would say it's okay if you don't work in your first semester, just try to um, get accustomed with the new system, just uh, try to get a good GPA in your first year. Um, Obviously, in the summer you need an internship, so um, you have to search. You have to keep looking for internships and stuff. Um, but do, don't. It's okay if you don't have an on-campus job in your first semester. It's more important to have a good GPA and keep your um, internship search going. Now, if you're taking three courses, and if you think that the two courses are very heavy, try to take a lighter course. Um, so that it will balance out or you know that you're going to score well in, the, in, in a particular course. A lot of times the courses which interest you are more, are, you know, are, are harder. So I would say keep some one or two courses before to keep up with your GPA. Try to learn as much as MATLAB and at least one CAD software and one analysis software so at least like you should know basic levels of either um, SOLIDWORKS or CATIA and then basic level of ANSYS.